now that time for you to hear what flows through my mind, guided from above with messages of love. Ready to go? Welcome to Ruby's Mindful Tarot. Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. Um, in today's video, I'm doing well as well. <laughs> from my last video, I was quite, um, I had a bit of a cold, like my nose kept running and sneezing and coughing, but I'm feeling much better now. Um, in today's video, the kind of vibe is comfortable. That's what I'm sen that's what I'm sensing. Just comfort, comfortable. Um, red is also something that's coming through. I was drawn to wear my red top today for the video, so red might come up a few times. We'll see. Um, but yeah, comfortable, comfort, rain. It is raining right now. Um, yeah, comfortable is the main word that I'm feeling for this video. Uh, as I was staring at my colour pot, three colours did stand out to me, so I'm assuming they're the three groups, and I did feel that there are three groups for the video, so we'll go with that. I'll quickly show you. So the first one, of course, was red. The second colour that stood out to me was this kind of teal colour, greeny blue, more on the green side, but teal, and then blue, light blue. So those are the three groups. Before we begin, um, let's just do some mindful breathing. So get comfortable in your position if you're sitting or lying down or standing. Close your eyes if you wish and just take a few moments to just connect with your breath. That's all. Just feeling your breath within your body. Taking calm and comfortable inhales and exhales. So spend a few moments doing that. If some of you are angry, choose to let go of that just for now, just for this video. And if it's raining where you are, let me know in the comments below. I do sense that some of you watching, whenever you do watch this, that it could also be raining where you are, that came through. Okay, a few more moments, just breathing. If certain things or ideas come to mind, that's okay. Just acknowledge and then continue focusing on your breath. few more moments. Okay, that was nice. As I was focusing on my breath, a few things came to mind. One, uh, three, you know the song Three Little Birds? That came up, that came in my mind. So three little birds sat on my window. That song, and they told me I don't need to worry. So that could be a message for all of you, or maybe a group. I do feel all of you. So if some of you are worried, try not to worry. That was a message for you. That song did stay in my mind throughout the time I was breathing. So that's definitely for me to communicate. And then the second thing that came to mind. Oh, I think it's gone. It might come back later. There was something else. But the main the main thing was the three little birds. Okay, so we'll start with the reading now. Let me change this. Okay, we'll just stay there. I was adjusting my, my phone camera. Okay, first group, as I said, is red. So if you've been drawn to red as well, this could be your group. We'll see. Oh, bird. <laughs> a bird just is right in front of me. A little crow. Maybe that's a sign for some of you. You might have been seeing crows. Okay. Right. We're going to start off with the Earthcraft Oracle deck. That's this one here. Oh. Oh, wow. There's three birds. <laughs> I wonder if I should show you. No, I'll leave it. There's three crows outside my window right now. They just flew there. So that's 
very interested. The three baby birds as well, like baby crows. Okay. Okay. Let's just keep this here. Okay, we'll stay here. <laughs> so, all right, so one card came out already. All right, let's go. Okay. So again, this is the Earthcraft Oracle. Let's just bring that forward a bit. Okay. Right. And this is the red group. hearing to say comfortable again so maybe some of you are feeling comfortable right now or want to feel more comfortable in some way um, I am sensing just like physically comfortable so maybe your clothes are the clothes you're wearing right now comfortable for you This is the sign of the times oracle deck this one here the blue one okay the number three is coming out to me um yeah that could be linked to the three little birds and i just saw three pigeons fly by so three is a number i'm sensing for you three, oh, three. Poetry as well. I was sensing that before I started the video that either one of the groups or all groups quite like poetry. Rhyming. Okay, I feel that might be it. No, it's one more. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're going to start with this one the Sign of the Times Oracle deck. Right, we have, oh, wow, okay, number 18, palm, it says destiny, and the image is rain on a window with a palm print on there. Let me see. Yeah, yeah. You can see the little raindrops. Okay, we've got number 29, skull, meaning endings. Of course, with every ending, that means there's a new beginning awaiting to happen. Okay, let's put this up here. Right, we'll go here. So this is the astrology deck. I feel to go backwards. Okay, we've got Chiron, so hurt and heal. We have... Yang energy, so that's being proactive, expression, doing, forward motion. Aries, Gemini, Leo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, and Libra. Either way, the energy is very, it's sun energy as opposed to moon. So it's out there, it's expression, doing, shining, putting something out, your energy out. Okay, and then we have square. So that's a challenging situation and a mountain to climb. Okay. And then the Earthcraft Oracle. We have beautiful card number 16, light. And if you can see here, that's kind of like the sun. And those sun rays are nourishing this person, meaning you. And we have number 20, prayer. And the colour is red. Okay. Okay, I feel called to pause the video here.
channel any extra messages I'm getting from this, including doing some spirit writings, and then I'll come back and give you the message. Hello, I'm back. Okay, so this is the red group. Here's your message. So I am very drawn to this egg for you. I did feel cool to bring that right in the center for your reading. Eggs represent new beginnings. That's where I feel like you're at or you're on. You're very close to a new beginning confirmed by the card skull representing endings. And as I said, each ending, of course, after an ending comes a new beginning in life. So that's where I feel like you're at. Um, there's quite a few messages, so I'll just I'll start saying it. Um, the rain. I feel like if you're able to, have a brief walk in the rain or just stand outside for a few minutes and let that rain kind of cleanse you. Not just physically, but spiritually. Just let, let it cleanse you. If you're unable to do so or it's not raining, um, maybe spend a few moments in the shower. And again, just visualize, well, feel and visualize shower of water cleansing you of course in that case physically but also spiritually okay i do i did sense a need for you to lie down so maybe that was connected to that comfortable vibe i kept sensing but um yeah okay there's a lot of messages i'm thinking which order to say it in one minute We'll, move, we'll stay over here. So yes, egg represents new beginning. Maybe some of you have been connected to an egg shape because I am very, my eye is very drawn to the shape of this. So maybe some of you have something like this, an egg crystal or just something in the shape of an egg that you might be drawn to. Um, but yeah, new beginning, keep that in mind. So rather than focusing on something's ending, something might be crumbling or shattering around you. If that's going on in your life right now, know that a new beginning is coming right afterwards. So right now I do sense like a storm thing with you. So you might be feeling as if you're going through the storm, going through the storm, going through the storm. I keep hearing that. Um, and within that storm, there's hurt, there's challenges, there's like a mountain to climb. Um, it's, it's quite a lot. Some of you might be feeling quite stressed, stressed with that. But I do feel a lot of you are feeling quite angry about it. You might be in this kind of constant aggressive um, aggr aggressive kind of energy. Maybe not towards a person or anything, but you are, I do sense an energy of aggression. Like of really wanting to fight. Yeah, that's the word. I, I sense a fight energy with you. Fighting this storm. You're fighting the storm. That's what I'm sensing, and I really feel like you don't need to. You don't need to fight. You don't need to be in that fight mode, that fight energy. Um, I feel like it's important for you to kind of ground yourself, root yourself, and focus on your root chakra. So that's at your lower base, at the base of your spine. The color is, of course, red. Um, but yeah, I did sense for you to focus on root chakra healing and cleansing as well. Root root chakra cleansing um, music wise I know on YouTube there's some like frequency music connected to root chakra so you can look that you can look that up um, or if you do energy healing you can look into that as well but root chakra healing and cleansing I think is important for you um, again with the kind of yang energy I do sense you're in that vibe of doing and fight so some of you might be some of these star signs that are connected to a yang type of energy, which is Aries, Gemini, Leo, Libra, Sagittarius, and Aquarius. Some of you could be those signs. But regardless, that is confirming that kind of fight energy that you're in, of out there doing it, forcing, yeah, just that kind of energy. And again, I do sense for you to be a bit more grounded, sensed the need for you to lie down, relax a little bit, um, and connect with your spirituality as well. So that could, some of you might be religious, so you might have a religion or just be spiritually based, whatever it is, I feel a sense for you to connect more with that. In both of these images, you can kind of see, um, well, both of their eyes are closed and it's as if they're looking within, and I did sense that for you as well. Like, 
a need for you to look within for your power. So rather than using your physical energy, your mental energy, the stress, all of that, all of that's energy, rather than engaging in that, which isn't helping you, engage more in your spiritual energy. That will give you power. That will give you the power you need to get through the storm. Okay. Some of you, a helpful practice in what I just said would be just taking a nice bath being in the water, maybe some of you like swimming, but yeah, water can be helpful for you because that, fu that fire fight doing mode is a fire type of energy, a fire air type of energy and these cards which I do feel drawn for you is like water and earth, so it's, it's the opposite. So rather than being in the, the fiery mode, try and be in a water mode. Even though you're in the storm and you feel as though you need to fight, you need that type of energy, this sign is that, well, this is a sign for you, letting you know that you don't need to be in that type of energy in order to get through the storm. I'm hearing burnout. So the more that you are in that kind of fight, fire, aggressive, stressed out type of mode, that will burn you out eventually. Yeah, okay. For this one, I do want to read a little bit in the book. So this is the Yang card. Okay. Okay, there's two parts I want to read out. So, being an active creative force, it's linked to the elements of fire and air. This is not the realm for water's emotions or earth's patience. With that there, that's, that's what I feel for you. So rather than being in that element of fire and air, move towards water and earth. Water is your emotions, your spiritual side, and earth is about patience. So those, those are some things I feel are necessary for you as you're going through this. Okay, as a long-term practice, consider your balance between yin and yang, your spiritual life and physical life. Both are vital energies. Yeah, both vital energies ebb and flow within as two sides of creation. Do you feel a harmonious balance? Yeah. I feel like that's it for your reading, uh, Red Group. So I'll give a brief summary and then I'll move on. Oh, I remembered the second thing. Um, that was in my mind, it was angels. Okay. Right, I'll give you your summary. So, this is for red group. Red, red, red. Number three. Some of you might see birds as a symbol, but either way, the, the number three is coming through for you. And poetry as well. I do sense a need for you to lie down. So if a lot of you might be on your feet a lot, um, a lot of you might be stressed, going over things in your mind constantly. If so, this is just a gentle reminder to focus on your breath, similar to what we did in the beginning, and just lie down and try to take it step by step, day by day. I know that might be hard, but put some effort into doing that. Not trying to figure everything out at once, not putting all of your energy into fighting these challenges because that, oh, <laughs> the bird just flew over my window, it scared me. Um, yeah, but not putting all of your energy into fighting these challenges because that will wear you down and burn you out eventually. If you can, try and be in the rain a little bit, um, just to let the spirit of the rain cleanse you. And if not, then you can do that in the shower. So just visualizing a cleanse going over you. a need for you to maybe look at your hands a bit more as well with this palm card so as well as the rain message i'm also getting for you to connect with your hands mm -hmm. again every ending well with every ending comes a new beginning in life it's a cycle you might be hurting right now going through this challenge this mountain but know that healing is coming towards you. There is healing there. There are lessons 
to learn as you're going through this challenge, this storm. There are lessons there. It may not seem like it, but it is. There are some lessons for you to learn. Not as a punishment, but just to help you grow into the person that you are meant to become. All helping you achieve your life's purpose. And I feel like some of you know that already. It's just that I feel like a lot of you know that, but going through it is, of course, very difficult, and it's hard to remember that. It's hard to remember that you're going through this in order to learn lessons and to help you grow. So this is just encouragement to keep going, keep being uh, the wonderful person that you are, but just try to lie down a little more, connect with your roots, your spiritual side, praying. A lot of you might pray a lot. Some of you might have rosary beads or connect with maybe crystals or flowers, connect with the earth in some way. But do close your eyes, look within, connect with your spirituality, your faith, your religion, whatever it is. Yeah, and just move a bit more into that water, earth energy, as opposed to that fire and air. That, that type of energy is a bit too strong on your part right now. Bring yourself a bit more into balance by engaging in water physically with the rain and, and having a bath or shower, but just the energy of water as well, which is about your emotions. So connecting with your emotions, listening. It starts with listening, I'm hearing. So by closing your eyes and just listening to what your emotions are telling you, your inner, your inner world, your inner voice, inner spirituality, connect with that. And angels, again, angels are with you. Again, it may not seem like it when you're going through this storm type of energy, but they are with you. Okay. okay. And again, I am very drawn to this egg. So give me a moment in case there's any extra messages for you, red group. Allow yourself to be held. That's the message that's coming out. As I picked that up, I, I, I almost like heard the, the crystal egg say, put me down. So I'm sensing that for you. Like you don't, you might not be accepting the help that's around you. Not all of you, but that's just a message for some. So for some of you, help in some way is there, but you might be blocking that off. Again, because you, you're in that kind of fire mode. But moving into the earth and water energy will allow you to see the help that is around you. And hopefully you'll be able to accept that help. Okay, thank you, Red Group. That was your message. Your wonderful group. I feel almost a bit connected to you. Um, yeah, so those are your messages. But it will be okay. That beginning is coming. And look, kind of visualize that new beginning. Visualize yourself coming out of that storm. But just try not to be in the fight fire energy of it. Okay, that's your message. sensing some things for the next group already so let's move on okay so the next group is teal this kind of looks a bit greenish but that's the color that's coming teal t-e-a-l teal okay
is quite nice for me, <laughs> doing a reading while it's raining. I didn't think I would like it. Um, well, not that I thought I would or wouldn't, but I thought maybe that noise might be distracting or something, especially because the window is right there. But it's quite nice. I'm feeling comfortable. Okay, I'm very drawn to this one. So this is the signs of the times again. This is the teal group. Um, a message is coming up for the previous group. Uh, this is my ruby crystal. You can see that's my ruby crystal. If some of you have rubies, this is the red group. If some of you have a ruby crystal or a red crystal of some sort, that can be helpful in connecting with your root chakra as well. And just the energy of it can be helpful for you, bring, bringing you into a bit more balance. Okay, back to teal. Okay. I feel this is a... Okay, I'm on teal now. I feel like this is a fancy group. Like you like kind of jewellery and fancy things. That's coming up. <laughs> high class I'm hearing high class classy yeah I'm having an image in my mind of you kind of looking at my crystals like this one here so some of you might be drawn to that but yeah I, I have a sense that you do like shiny shiny things shiny fancy things This is the Spirit of the Animal Oracle deck. That's this one here. This group likes music. Oh, I don't know if I said that already. It was what I wrote down from a moment ago. But I feel like this group likes music. And I also wrote... Okay, let me tell you what I wrote first. <laughs> so I wrote Teal. The number two is kind of connected to you. Music. I feel like a lot of you like music quite a lot. Or you play music as in like an instrument, an instrument or singing or something. And also I wrote Sound Healing. Sound healing is the use of like bowls like this or other types of similar frequency bowls to help heal the body in some way. The body or heal animals or heal plants just as a healing tool. Yeah, so I'm sensing those things for you.
Okay, right. I've got your cards, teal group, they look beautiful. So, we'll start from this way and then go that way. Uh, actually, let me tell you what I've written first. So, I've written, I've written teal, the number two, music, sound healing, and the third eye chakra activating. As I was shuffling, I did feel my third eye chakra here, <laughs> um, kind of beating a little bit, like pulsating. So that could be a symbol for you that your eye, your third eye chakra is activating. That's the center for psychic ability. So this group could be quite connected to their psychic skills. We shall see. Okay, I just brought my amethyst crystal here. This is a crystal that's very well connected to the third eye chakra. Okay, number 17, we've got key, opportunity. Very nice. I'm, I'm hearing like the world, like this kind of looks like the universe or, well yeah it is, I can see a planet there actually, a planet and stars. Opportunity, key open doors, we'll come on to that. We've got number 42, tree. Okay, that rhymes, key and tree. Uh, ancestry, that rhymes again. Maybe some of group one could be here too, we'll see. Or poetry could be something that's in all of the groups. I don't know, but I did sense this like, rhyming before I started the video. Anyway, we've got key, tree, ancestry. Honoring our roots. Root chakra, first group. Oh, yeah. Some of red group could be here as well. Uh, we've got number 16, anchor, stability, red. Stability root chakra as well. Very interesting. Uh, yeah. Okay, moving into the astrology cards. We have house 12. Yes. Yep. <laughs> so house 12 is connected to, our, to Pisces energy. It's about spirituality, transcendence, uh, service and healing um, yeah that connects to what I mentioned about psychic skills psychic spirituality nice we have sex style so a combination of tension and flow potential and a rewarding situation that's this one okay moving into the animal oracle deck animals now we'll see if this animal's here but an animal did come to mind as i was shuffling this okay if not i'll say what it what the animal was anyway okay so this is number 41 night nightingale spirit love is all around this one's beautiful that's similar color to teal as well which is nice and also if you can see um what this bird is standing on is um Well, it's like half flower, half musical instrument, and there's like musical notes coming out. I hope you can see. Yeah, coming out of here. So that's perfect. That's confirmation of that music sound healing stuff that I was channeling for you. Oh, nice. And we've got 65 well spirit, trusting the great mystery. I feel that's connected to the key. And that rhymes again. <laughs> but also, you know wells, how they have a certain frequency about them, like how they communicate with other whales under the sea. Um, yeah, I feel that's connected to you as well. As I just said, under the sea, I feel that's that means something to you. I know the film Ariel came out recently, so maybe some of you have been what? well, I'm not sure if it's out just yet, but some of you might like the film Ariel or excited for seeing it. Um, but yeah, either way, how whales communicate with each other is f through a frequency, like wave frequency, and that connects to that sound healing that I mentioned for you. That's nice. Okay, I feel this is a very smiley group, so you're quite happy. You're excited. That's what I'm feeling. Okay, oh, and there's one more. I feel to do, I feel to do this one last. Um, the, the animal that I was channeling for you was horse. A horse. Okay. 
Give me a moment while I channel any extra messages from here before I turn this one over. I feel like this one should be done last, like a surprise or something. Okay. Ow. <laughs> Some of you might have music in the background. It's coming through. While I'm doing all of this, you can focus on your breathing if you like, or just get more comfortable. You can get a drink, relax.
I filtered, thank you for waiting. I realised I didn't pause the video. Um, I just filtered, just say what I'm sensing and then we'll kind of go from there. Okay, so teal group. Um, let me start again with here. So the number two, that kind of energy is coming to you. Music, I ha have a strong sense of music with you. So whether you really love music, you are, or you might be called to play more music, um, develop your musical gift. Um, there's a strong music thing with you. Uh, good energy, nice music vibe with you. Sound healing, that's coming out as well. That could be something you should look into, either for yourself or for you to do for others as well as yourself. Um, so look into sound healing. Third eye chakra, so some of you are quite skilled in your psychic abilities. Again, that can vary with how that looks or how it shows up for different people, but you do have a psychic element for sure. Um, yeah, uh, the horse, like that animal came to mind when I was shuffling the animal deck for you. So horse could be maybe one of your spirit animals, so an animal guide of yours. Mm -hmm. So there's many different things with that, but I'll just stick with horse. So maybe some of your, some of you see horses, or you really like horses, maybe horse riding, something. There's something with a horse and you. Um, but again, beautiful energy. So yeah, you and horses. There's a nice connection there. Right, keys. I'm feeling or hearing whatever <laughs> that you have the key. I'll show you the image that I drew in a minute. Um, but yeah, many keys. Many keys, lots of opportunities. A mystery, perhaps. That's what I heard to say. Okay, let me show you this now. Kind of makes sense. I hope you can see just this drawing here. It's in pencil, so it might be a bit hard to see. Um, that basically says many keys in that circle. That says you have the key. That's a door. Let me hold it like this. Okay, that's a door, and that's you, stick man. <laughs> holding the key and there are many keys and then behind that door is a heart so meaning like your heart like your passions and it says potential and like you standing what I sensed as I was drawing that was you standing in front of a door but being scared to go through it but you have the key like you have the ability to go through it it's just maybe fear that's getting in the way so that's what I sensed with that um okay I'm going to read the card for this one because that kind of connects to it as well. Oh yeah, and it also says nurture your gift. Okay, so lots of messages flowing out. So okay, where is it? Um, right. So this is this card now. Sex style, sixty degrees. That's when planets are in sixty degrees of each other. And it says a combination of tension and flow, potential and a rewarding situation. Shift your focus from external gains to the internal desires of your soul. You are supported more, oh sorry, you're supported more than ever in making your dreams come true. But first, you must be crystal clear on what it is you truly want. Hold on to your knowing and move through life with unshakable integrity. Your reward is coming. It's already yours. You're just catching up with it. So be clear on your intentions, clear on what your heart truly wants. Maybe that's why I felt called to draw that heart behind the door. Um, yeah, so just be clear on what your heart truly desires and what you want to do in life. And then once you're clear with that, use that key and go through that door. Okay, nice. I feel called again to bring up music that's really coming through strongly with you. Creating music. Yeah, I think close, closer to creating music rather than just listening to it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I feel that part's done for you. Okay, let's go here. You're not stuck. Similar to the drawing and the message for that. You're not stuck. Just be clear on your intention and you do have the key. You have many keys. That's what I felt 
drawn to write down. Yeah, that's what I felt called to write down. You have many keys, many keys, many opportunities. Mm. Okay, I thought there's a different message. Uh, let go of what no longer serves you. I know that's a common um, kind of phrase to say, but I do sense that quite strongly with this image. So this, with this card, it says tree, ancestry, number 42. On the t-shirt, it says family reunion. You can see, and then that's a tree at the top with the roots at the bottom, and it says honouring our roots. But with this, I'm seeing that some of the roots are a bit rotten and needs to be like cut off or let go so that you can grow more. That's what I'm sensing from that. So take that however you need to take it, you will know. Um, but yeah, I did see like some of those roots being a bit rotten. So either trying to heal that, let it go, work with that in some way so that you can move forward a bit easier. I'm hearing to say structure with this. This is the anchor card, stability. But I'm hearing to say structure. I'm quite drawn to the um, the pillars around the door. I'll leave that there. But yeah, structure is what I got from that for you. Okay, last card. Oh, <laughs> number 41, warrior woman. Lovely. This card came out, I think, in the last video reading that I did. Lovely. Warrior Woman. I'll read some of the book for this. Yeah. Number 41. 41. Those numbers, four and one. Four in particular. So we've got four here, four here, four here. Yeah, we've got three fours, so four could be a number for you as well. Hmm. Okay. Yep, okay, I'll just read what my eyes are drawn to. Okay. Igniting the warrior spirit. These movements call out the inner warrior spirit and allow you to let go of any aggression you may be holding. Maybe some of that aggression is from your past. Ignite the full expression of your power, fueled by your heart energy, not anger, and feel your connection to the earth. If you are feeling discouraged or doubtful, know that you know that you already have all the courage, motivation, willpower and creativity you need, but you must practice owning your power and fighting for your passions. Lovely. Yeah, some of you might be a bit scared, a bit frightful, I'm hearing. Yeah, some of you might be a bit frightful for going for your dreams, going for your passions. Have some of this energy, this warrior woman spirit. Know that you've got the keys for many opportunities. Nurture your gift, which I do feel is connected to music, spirituality, sound healing, definitely music. Nurture that gift of yours, develop it, and move forward with confidence. And trust the process thereafter. So once you've, once you've used that key to open that door towards your heart desires and your potential for your gift, it may not all be perfect and wonderful straight away but just keep moving through it keep keep going on that journey trust the great mystery of the frequency i'm hearing to say <laughs> okay some of you could be songwriters that came out as well yeah Ooh, okay i think that's it for you till group very nice feel called to show this to you again, the key. It's quite important for you to know. And again, that part there says keys open doors. And then we've got key and then opportunity. Okay, very nice. And again, horse. The animal horse is 
there's really nice energy between the spirit of horses and you. Something very nice there. Okay. Right. Moving on to baby blue or light blue. Let's shift up the energy a bit. Okay. I'm hearing tired. So those of you who are choosing this group now, you, that's, that might be how you're feeling. A bit tired. I'm hearing to say weak. So physically you might be feeling a bit weak. That's a possibility. Yeah. Start writing what I'm channeling for you. some of this around. Some of you, this is uh, light blue now. I did feel called to bring out purple as well, um, but more as a healing aid. But anyway, this group is bl light blue. Uh, some of you in this group may have illnesses, I'm hearing. Some of you, it could be chronic, a chronic illness or um, like an autoimmune disease or something with your bones. Not all of you, nothing to stress about, but one or a few of you may have yeah, may feel tired a lot of the time. Okay. And out of breath. Yeah, I just have the image of you being out of breath and like really struggling to keep up with kind of basic things, basic tasks. Um, yeah, that's coming through. I feel very uh, strong need for me to be extremely gentle with this group. Okay. We'll start with this one. Okay, this is the Starseed Oracle deck. I'm hearing to say, don't be scared, uh, blue group. No, no, don't be scared.
we'll start with this middle one, so the Starseed Oracle. We have All Paths Lead Home, Inner Authority, Intuition, <laughs> and Turn in Your Gaze Within. That's perfect. Before I was about to turn this over, I was thinking if I should say what I've written down first or not. Uh, one of the things I've written down, well, I drew, was um, a symbol showing that your crown chakra might be a little bit blocked, a little bit unbalanced. So all that means is that you are being called to connect a bit more with, again, with your spirituality, but your connection to your angels and the divine, that communication. So all of that kind of sits at your crown chakra, which is at the very top of your head. Okay, at the very top of your head. So connecting a bit more here will be helpful for you. Crystals is like clear quartz, um, possibly moonstone. I feel this will be good for you. Uh, moonstone crystal yeah moonstone clear quartz selenite uh, I think that one's downstairs but yeah selenite clear quartz crystals moonstone those are some crystals that can be useful for you um, praying could be helpful as well connecting with your spirituality or religion or faith um, but yeah just focusing on your crown chakra uh, healing wise if you are interested in healing, energy healing, any type of healing, focus on here, your crown chakra. Focus on getting that in balance, opening that up a bit more. And I feel that will lift quite a few of you out of depression, I'm hearing to say. So some of, some of you in this group might be going through a stage of depression. If so, then that message is definitely for you. To so just focus on healing up here so you can receive those messages through your crown chakra okay okay mm -hmm. so that confirms that so uh inner authority intuition turning your gaze within i feel a lot of you look for help a lot and that was one of the things i wrote down it says help um yeah let me i'll just say what i've written down first so I've written down closed eyes, slow, I am feeling a very slow and calm energy with this group. I've got weak, which I mentioned before, just a sense of weakness that you might be feeling within you physically, the colour blue. Help, so I had an image of you asking for help quite a lot, um, or needing help, but I've written the word help, and woman. A strong sense of woman. Enough for me to write that down. So, of course, a lot of you could be women watching this. Um, yeah, I just felt called to write woman down. In my image, I did kind of draw. I drew a person with a bit of focus on heart chakra in pink, which is connected to self-love. So that could be another message for you to focus more on self-love practices. So what things do you like to do? Do you like painting your nails? Do you like cooking, painting, maybe music like the other group? Or um, dancing, moving, reading? I feel maybe slow things could be quite uh, things that you might be interested in. Planting, um, you all know what you're interested in, but whatever it is, I feel you should engage in that a bit more. The things that make you happy and that you enjoy doing genuinely. Uh, yeah, not for the approval of others, I'm hearing to say. So the things that you do like to do, make sure you like doing them because you like to, because you like doing them. Not so, not to make other, not only for the purpose of making other people happy. Make sure you like doing that because it truly makes your heart smile. That's that message. Uh, also in the image, I did feel called to kind of draw a circle at the stomach area. That could be a symbol for maybe some of you are pregnant right now, or will be soon. Um, or it could be related to maybe something else in the stomach area. But I did feel called to emphasize there. And with Moonstone, this usually is a good... S in crystal books and everything. Um... Moonstone is connected to pregnant women, so that could be a message for some of you, some of you. Okay, right. 
I do feel a bit of a um, strain on my throat. That could be one of two reasons. One, because this is the last group and I've been talking throughout, but I don't think so, because I don't usually feel this towards the end. I do feel it's because it's this group, and of course blue is connected to the throat chakra. I do feel, um, again, like I mentioned, just a need to really be slow with this group, so I'll try and slow down. Okay, so again, all paths lead home, but I'm connected to the word intuition here, and you connecting with your crown chakra. That's that one. Beautiful. We have activated earth. Power places, ley lines, trust where you're being led. Mm -hmm. Trust the journey. Okay, we'll move over here. So this is the Earthcraft Oracle. Yep, I feel to start backwards. Okay. Number 32, we've got Spirit of the South. Number 26, sacrifice. I'm drawn to the heart mm -hmm. in this image. Uh, no. I'm drawn to the heart here. And her, uh, in her hand, she's kind of holding a rose and also kind of pointing to her heart a little bit. And her, and this little hummingbird is also kind of pointing to the heart. So I'm really drawn to this heart for you, which confirms what I mentioned about self-love. And then, nothing to be scared about, but we have number seven, which is death. Death means transformation. We'll go into the we'll we'll go into the deeper messages of that in a moment. Okay, lovely. And then moving into the signs of the times, we have number twenty-two. Uh, butterfly metamorphosis. Hmm. I recently wrote a story about a butterfly. I'm wondering if some of what I've written in that story is connected to you. I feel like it is, so I'll mention that afterwards. But yeah, we've got a butterfly. Beautiful. I'm hearing to say butterfly in the rain. So it's still raining outside, but maybe you might see a butterfly in the rain. Or you might have seen that already. And I'm feeling cool to keep doing that as well. Okay, we've got number seven, feather, messages. Oh yeah, I know it, okay. <laughs> and number 14, angel numbers. I was just about to say something before this came up and that is my confirmation. I was going to say butterflies and feathers are very common symbols that angels can give to you in, when they're trying to get your attention and give you messages and communicate with you through your crown chakra. And then with this being the last card, which is angel numbers, and then it says confirmation, that is my confirmation. So that's perfect. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, give me a moment while I kind of see what else I need to say or connect these a bit better, and then I'll come back. I'm hearing to say ice cream. Some of you might like ice cream or be eating it right now. Um, just feeling to say to be careful with that so maybe uh, you might be eating too much ice cream or maybe something like an ingredient in the ice cream might not agree with your body I'm just hearing to say that but of course look into it for yourself because different messages might connect with different people a bit better okay I'm going to take a bit of a moment to rest my voice now
thank you for waiting. Um, a lot of beautiful messages here. I did read some things in the books that are perfect for you, so I'll do that in a minute as well. Um, because my throat is getting a tiny bit sore, that could also be a sign that maybe some of your throat could be hurting um, or in need of some healing. Okay. Whew. Okay. Right. Let me see where to start. Probably start here. Here. I'll start with where I read this one. Okay, so I'm going to read this one. So this is uh, number 26, Sacrifice, from the Earthcraft Oracle deck. Some wonderful messages here for you, so I'm just going to be reading these out. Okay, so it's this one. One of the hardest things you can do is to be honest with yourself about what you have space for in your life, both physically and emotionally. There are times when you have too much piled on your plate and you have to learn to sacrifice some of, some of those things so that other, more important goals can thrive. In this moment, it's time to reprioritize. Poetry. <laughs> Pulling this card could be a sign that you need to commit to something important, even if that means you have to make a sacrifice in the process, such as pursuing your dream career rather than chasing a big paycheck, or learning a new skill at the cost of less relaxation time with family. You may have to pass on some opportunities, and that may hurt a little in the present. But think of what can be gained from putting all your efforts into achieving your goal. We all have a purpose to fulfill. The universe gives us little nudges and messages, letting us know which direction to take. Being aware of these messages and acting accordingly allow you to channel the spirit of the self in a healthy, productive way. The universe also gives you plenty of time to change directions when you fall off course. If you ignore these warnings, the universe must step in and burn through that which leads you astray. You have received this card as a final warning that some changes must occur in your life. Continue to ignore these warnings and fire will manifest in your life as chaos and destruction until you come back to your purpose. Embrace the gifts of the self and you will find the motivation and fiery passion to burn straight through your obstacles. You are transcending, sacred one. Death is inevitable, and when you have pulled the death card, it's a sign that you have come to an ending, and so a new beginning. Now is the time to move on to bigger and better things. Where you are now is too small for your energy. You've outgrown your situation and must let go with compassion, gratitude and optimism, even if it feels painful at first. You may already feel this pull to something greater. This is a sign that many new paths and opportunities are available to you. The most horrifying part about death, however, is that you don't know what comes next on that path. It could be the most incredible journey, 
but it could also be rocky and present and present unexpected challenges. But you are always practicing the cycle of death and rebirth. Each new year brings the death of the one before. Each decision, a loss and an opportunity. Leaving your parents' house, changing jobs and moving through relationships are all examples of this cycle appearing in your life. In the same way, Mother Earth moves through her seasons. All that is required is a willingness to step out of your comfort zone and embrace the unknown before you, trusting in your intuition to lead the way. Trusting where you're being led. It's normal to look to the external world for answers and guidance. What's revolutionary is turning your gaze inward. You're being called to source your guidance from within, to study the terrain of your inner landscape, to, de to develop a reliable relationship with your soul. The more time you spend connecting with your soul, the deeper the connection will become. The challenge for empaths is staying connected without cutting off from the world. The best way to do this is to develop a daily practice that helps you to keep checking in with yourself, to draw on the wisdom within and let that be the authority in your life. I feel that connects to what I mentioned about you asking for help, which is good, is a good thing to know when you're in need of help, but I feel most of the time, you could look within first for the answer. Okay. If this card appears, you may be called to develop or switch up your spiritual practice. To get in the habit of turning your gaze within, getting centred for the day, before consuming anything from the outside world. That's what I meant. Perfect. Beautiful. Well, that's your messages done blue group light blue group i hope this was helpful for you but basically from all this messages and what i sensed and all of this you're being caught you're being poured to your purpose so you might have been spending you might have been spending time i feel called to show my face for this bit <laughs> um you might be you might have been spending time in either a job or a situation or location that wasn't that wasn't serving your purpose well. It might have been leading you astray, as one of the cards said. It might have been a distraction for you. It might have been pulling you away from your purpose. And you've, you, I feel you've maybe been in that type of energy for quite a while. Hence why, you, why your energy feels weak, depleted, slow, maybe a bit painful. Because you're not in your purpose. And that's okay, it's all a journey. But I feel the universe has been sending or trying to send you some messages and some signs, either through numbers. So you might be seeing, let me slow down a bit. You might have been seeing a particular number repeatedly, confirmed by angel numbers. Um, but yeah, a particular number on your watch, on the time, on your phone, um, the time on the oven. Um, numbers can come up everywhere. But I feel to pick for you to pay attention to that, that is a way of your angels communicating with you. Um, messages or symbols or signs in the form of feathers. Feathers and also butterflies in the rain, I'm hearing to say. But either way, butterflies, feathers, particular numbers that keep repeating itself to you that's all encouragement from your angels to move that that's trying to move you towards your purpose a bit more so you might see those signs and symbols at particular times so you might be thinking about a passion of yours or maybe something about your passion came up on the radio or on tv or someone might have mentioned it and then you see a sign or you see a symbol or maybe you see that symbol just before uh, 
um, your passion gets brought up somehow. But either way, just try to be a bit open to these messages because the universe is trying to connect with you and guide you to your north. For a lot of you, I feel like you know what that purpose is, but you might be a bit scared to go to, to make the steps towards it. Or you might feel like you can't practically. Um, that may, that's maybe where this card comes in again, the sacrifice card. So organizing your priorities a bit better. And on top of that message, self-love. And part of self-love and caring for yourself and tending to your heart chakra Part of that is moving towards your purpose, especially when you know what that purpose is. No more self-sabotage. So for those of you who are aware of what you want to move towards and you're aware of the signs that you've been getting, you know what direction to move in, um, the fear that's holding you back, the limiting beliefs that's holding you back, all of that is part of self-sabotage. Try to let that go, which can take time, which is okay, but try to let that go so you can move towards your purpose. Yeah. Feel called to read a section of this card again, so Spirit of the South. Okay. You have received this card as a final warning that some changes must occur in your life. Continue to ignore these warnings and fire will manifest in your life as chaos and destruction until you come back to your purpose. So for some of you who are who have, moved in a, who have moved in a direction away from your purpose, you might be finding that there's a lot of chaos and destruction and weakness and stress there, which is affecting you emotionally and therefore physically. If that's the case, that's the universe trying to give you a warning that that isn't working for you anymore and that it's now time for you to redirect yourself towards your purpose. And even if you're unsure of what your total purpose is, take the first step and then let the universe guide you step by step. Okay. Mm -hmm. Again, death. It's transformation. With death comes a new beginning. Remember we mentioned that in the red group? So be excited for that new beginning. I really feel called to, to kind of talk a bit more about that weak feeling the universe will make you feel how you need to feel in order for you to do what you need to do I hope that made sense that came through for me to say to you the universe will make you feel how you need to feel in order, in order for you to do what you need to do. Remember that saying. So if you are feeling weak, exhausted, tired, you're struggling, um, you're feeling that way for a reason. So try not to just ignore it and accept that, oh, this is just me, this is how I feel all the time. No. Acknowledge that feeling and then do, do something about it. I feel in your particular case, especially since you've been drawn to this video, you feeling very heavy, very low, a bit weak, maybe in particular your throat, that's because you're not expressing what you know to be true within you. You know what you need to change, if not entirely, you know something needs to change. So look to your guidance, look within for that help. Look within, connect with your spirit, 
with your spirituality, with your faith, crystals, rose, rosemary, be rosemary beads, whatever it is that you connect with spiritually, connect with that, strengthen that. As I mentioned in the beginning, your crown chakra, uh, focus on healing that so that you get you gain more clarity, so that there's more clarity in your decisions, in your decisions, so that there's more clarity in your movements and your directions. And then you'll feel more comfortable. There's that word again. You'll feel more comfortable taking those steps once you gain more clarity. So focus on your crown chakra. Practice speaking your truth as well. That can take time for a lot of people. But even just starting with yourself. When you get a quiet moment, and you can start by writing it down if that's easier for you, but work towards verbally saying or expressing how you truly feel and what you truly want. Okay, and moonstone. I feel called to say that again. A crystal moonstone. Moonstone can be in different colours. Uh, this one, oh, this one. This one is um, white with a bit of iridescent kind of colours in there. Moonstone can also be um, uh, like a yellowy, oh, yellowy brown colour as well. I think that crystal's downstairs, but similar to kind of this colour. Yeah, look into moonstone. But because you're working on your crown chakra, look into white iridescent moonstones. Okay. But yeah, trust where you're being led. Trust. Yeah, the universe doesn't want you to feel like this, I'm feeling to say. They want you to be happy, full of life, full of energy, so that you can rejoice and really be in your purpose and spread that light. So if you're feeling, if you're not feeling like that, that could be a sign that you might be going in the wrong direction that it's time for you to take a step elsewhere. And again, just for me to highlight the, repri the reprioritizing keyword for you. So if you're taking on too much, maybe lots of people are asking you for help a lot. If that's the case, take your, t take your time with this, but find a way to peacefully reject that because right now I feel it's very very necessary for you to focus on you focus on your intuition developing developing your intuition and your ability to look within for answers connect with the connect with the divine for answers trust your intuition trust your next steps being aware and open to receiving and understanding all of these signs and messages that the universe is sending your way. Again, that can be through numbers, repeating numbers. Not any particular number. So it could be a set of numbers that you keep seeing. Just certain numbers that you see over and over again. That's a sign from your angels. So when that happens, be extra, not extra cautious, but be extra aware of what's going on around you or what just happened before that, or just after that, or what what thought did you have around that time? Something like that. Butterflies, possibly in the rain, and feathers. Okay. I feel it will be useful for this group in particular to do a lot of breathing exercises to help. I'm hearing the word channel. I don't know if that makes sense in the sentence that I'm saying, but I'll say it anyway. For you to channel your throat chakra. So we'll do a bit of that now. We'll do three mindful breaths. Doesn't have to be deep, not forced, just slow, calm gentle, easy breaths, three. When you're ready at your own pace, I won't count you in or anything, just breathe.
few more moments. Try to close your eyes as well so you can practice that within. <laughs> so you can practice looking within and just connecting with yourself. And if some of you need to release, like cry or just get something out, feel free to do so. Crying is also a form of healing. So is resting. Saying no at times. Or whenever you feel the need to say no, that's also a form of healing. Because that's protecting your energy, your space. I'm hearing to say overspill. So um, say if you have your cup filled with water and lots of people are trying to, t trying to take from, from that either intentionally or unintentionally some of you could be mothers so of course you need to tend to your children, your home etc but if you feel like your cup is just constantly being poured out and there's nothing in there then sometimes at the right time it's necessary for you to say no of course that will be different for different people and of course tend to your children and everything but when you can say no in those moments so that you can fill up your cup then do so that's what i mean a few more moments just to breathe i know i said three breaths but just continue beautiful thank you so that was the blue group okay As I always say, you might be drawn to one group, two groups, or all three. And that's okay, there's no rules. Okay, beautiful. Thank you for listening to me speak. I enjoyed this video today, as I always do. But as I said from the beginning, the vibe with this video was um, comfortable. And I did feel comfortable throughout. Uh, I'm just going to ring my bell for a minute. Again, thank you for listening to me speak. I will be back soon, probably next week, for another video. Hope you found this useful. Let me know in the comments below which group was yours or, or what messages connected with you. Horses is coming to mind again. I think that was for Teal group. 
but yeah so I'll stop the video here wait let me see if there's any other messages no I, I don't I'm not hearing any other messages but I do feel called to kind of stay on the video just for a bit more um, so in the meantime continue focusing on your breath take this moment to just let those messages sink in because I know for some it might have been quite a lot if something didn't make sense for you or didn't connect with you at all just let that go just take what makes sense for you okay I feel to stop now <laughs> so thank you Bye-bye.